so in this video i've got another modded outfit for you guys so we're going to be doing a transfer glitch which means you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start the glitch go ahead and put on the outfit that you don't want to lose also go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece it doesn't matter which earpiece you buy just go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece so to make the glitch a little bit faster just come to the clothing store put your spawn location and last location put on the outfit that you don't want to lose before doing the glitch when you're ready hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so once you get in here you're gonna want to go over to your second character and it's either gonna say edit or delete if it says delete for you just go ahead and delete your second character and then two new characters are going to come in and then it's going to say edit but when you see edit you just want to go ahead and press on edit and then your character is going to go and then you're going to get this black alert screen right here that's going to ask you if you want to copy your stuff over you just want to go ahead and accept it so that's what it looks like just accept it when you come in here if your second character ended up being a male like mine just go ahead and change it into a female but if it's already a female just go ahead and leave it as a female go ahead and save and continue make a random name for it go ahead and take a picture and then from here when it's loading it may or may not load the casino dlc trailer if it loads the trailer it's not gonna affect the glitch and if it doesn't load it it's also not gonna affect the glitch we're just waiting to get spawned inside of our new session So the casino DLC trailer didn't load for us and right now we're about to get spawned inside of our new session. So when you get spawned inside of your new session you just want to go ahead and open up your mini map and you want to check to see if you can see any clothing stores. So if you can't see any clothing stores that means that you're going to have to find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be inside of that new session. But if you do see the clothing stores you're going to make your way over to any of the clothing stores. So if there are no clothing stores in your session just find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be inside of your new session. Now my female character is going to look a little bit different in the next clip because the first outfit I made I didn't like it so I just did a glitch all over again and didn't record the first part. So my female character is going to look a little bit different because um, I'm recording this a second time because I didn't like the first outfit. So when you get to the clothing store you just want to um, come inside of it, go ahead and go up to the cashier, go hit right on the d-pad on her, go to scuba outfits and buy the red scuba outfit. So just come over here, hit right on the d-pad on the lady, go to scuba outfits and buy the red scuba. So once you buy the red scuba, you just want to go ahead and back out. You want to go to the accessories. When you get to the accessories, you want to go to earrings. So now some female characters do spawn in with earrings by default. But if your female character has earrings on, just go ahead and take off any earrings on your female character. But mine doesn't, so we're good. So once you take off the earrings, you just want to go ahead and make your way down to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves, which are going to be number four. So just come purchase the light woodland tactical gloves. Once you've got that, you just want to go ahead and back out and come save this outfit. When you save this outfit, make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So just come over here and come save the outfit. So if my main character has the outfit, I didn't want to lose in a slot. So any, I will just save this in a different slot. So I'm just going to save this in an empty slot that's on my main character. So once you save this outfit, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go to Bomber Jackets and purchase the Black Hinterland Varsity. So just come over to the top section, go to Bomber Jackets and purchase the Black Hinterland Varsity. So once you buy this um, bomber jacket right here, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the pants section. Go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants, which should be the first ones. So just come over here to sport um, the pants section. Go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. So once you have the spotted muscle pants, you just go ahead and make your way over to the shoes. Go to the boots and purchase the hot pink cowboy boots. So just come over here to the um, shoes. Go to the boots and purchase the hot pink cowboy boots. Down. 
so just go ahead and buy them once you buy them just want to go ahead and make your way over well you don't have to buy it but if your character doesn't have the gloves on just go ahead and make sure that the gloves are on but you just want to make sure that light will land tactical gloves are still on your character once you got this outfit just go ahead and come and save it right underneath of the first outfit that you made so just go ahead and save the outfit right underneath of the first outfit that you made once you save that outfit go ahead and make your way over to the top section go to leather jackets and purchase the blue cropped biker which should be towards the bottom so just come inside of the tops go to the leather jackets and purchase the blue cropped biker so this is what it looks like right here go ahead and purchase that once you purchase that you want to back out stay in the top section go to tucked t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt which i think is number 75 i'm pretty sure so just go into the tucked t-shirts and buy the uh, blue digital t-shirt Yeah, so it was number 75 so once you buy that you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the shoe section go to running shoes and purchase the mono retro runners which should be the first ones also so just come over here to the um, shoes go to running shoes and purchase the mono retro runners so just go ahead and buy them so once you buy them you just want to go ahead and come save this underneath of your second outfit so you're gonna have three outfits in total if you did everything right so just come save it right underneath of the previous outfit that you just made so in total they're gonna be three outfits so once you save the outfit you just want to go ahead and back out you want to go to the standard outfits and purchase the chica outfit so just hit right in the deep end of the lady go to standard outfits and purchase the chica outfit once you have that just go ahead and back out hit your pause button go to online and go inside of creator Once you get inside of creator go ahead and click on create a race and then click on land race once you load in click on race details we're going to fill out the title and the description it doesn't have to be anything specific after you fill out the title and the description go ahead and take the photo put the maximum players on two and then you want to put the root type on point to point after you've got that just go ahead and hit your pause button and warp over to the airport When you get to the airport, just go ahead and hit B, go to placement, go ahead and place the trigger, and then click on lobby camera, go ahead and take that back out of that, and then you just want to go ahead and click on the checkpoints. Now, when you're making a race, it has to be only 0.62 miles or longer, so you just go ahead and make your race 0.62 miles or longer. Once you made your race 0.62 miles or longer, you just want to go ahead and hit B twice, and it's going to give you the option to test out your race, and you just want to go ahead and test out the race. When you finish the race you're gonna get that completed alert go ahead and accept that when you load in just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go to choose character So when you get to this point, you're going to want to go over to your second character and you're going to delete her. Make sure you're on your second character, not your main character. You want to go over to your second character, hit delete on her. It's going to ask you to confirm it. So just type in delete and it's going to delete your second character. Once you delete your second character, two new characters are going to come in. And from here, you just want to hit B so it takes you into single player. So when these two new characters come in, just going to hit B so it takes you into single player or story mode, whatever you want to call it. So when you get into single player, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So when you get to single player, all you want to do is just go inside of a invite only session.
So when you load in online, first thing you want to do is go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose. Because the outfit is not going to be saved. So just go ahead and come and save the outfit you didn't want to lose. Once you save it, you just want to go ahead and back out. You want to go to um, look for the biker suits and you want to purchase the black biker suit. So just go ahead and look for the biker suits and purchase the black biker suit. Once you've got that, just go ahead and back out. Hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created. Go to versus and start up the versus job called crook cops. When you start up Crooked Cops, when you load in the settings, you want to put the clothing on player owned. If you don't put the clothing on player owned, the glitch won't work. Put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random to join you. And you need only one person. Once they join, you just want to go ahead and go to the owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad three times. So just go to owned outfit and hit right on the D-pad three times and you should have the exact same outfit I have on right now. So once you load inside of Crook Cops, all you want to do from here is go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to accessories, put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. So whichever one you decide to buy, just go ahead and put that on. So once you put on the rebreather or earpiece, just go ahead and open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you load inside of your session, just go ahead and go save the outfit. And after you save this outfit, you can delete the three components because you don't need the three components anymore since you've already got the outfit. So just go ahead and save the outfit and then you get to keep it. So if you guys enjoyed this video and got the outfit, don't forget to drop a like on it, share it, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any other more videos.